Have you ever found yourself wandering around the frozen grocery store aisle, looking for a nice little frozen breakfast in the morning? And you walk around, you look at a couple things, biscuits, eh, toaster strudels. Maybe you had those last week. You want something a little bit different. Then you find it. You stumble across the beloved Eggo section. Let's say you decide on waffles, and now, what do you do? Because you've got about, like, nine different flavors right here, and, you know, which one are you going to pick? Which one? could possibly be the best for you. Now, the topic of best Eggo waffle is a very controversial one. There might be nothing else in this world that has caused more senseless violence than that of the debate of which flavor of Eggo is the best. Cities have been raised, kings dethroned, and empires fallen for nothing more than the sake of a disagreement between strawberry or chocolate chip, blueberry or homestyle. And that's why I'm here today, to put an end to this senseless violence. See, I went down to the local grocery store and happened to notice they were running a pretty good sale on Eggo waffles. I believe it was uh, two for two for five, maybe six, kind of forgot. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. We've got the toaster right here, a little bit of maple syrup, and a whole lot of Eggo waffles. The syrup we're using today is uh, gonna be log cabin maple syrup right there. I don't know how you can see that, probably pretty well, I hope. So in the running today for the best Eggo waffle, we have homestyle, strawberry, buttermilk, blueberry, apple cinnamon, and a chocolatey chip. And I figure we're gonna go ahead and start it off with the classic, classic, you can never go wrong with it, homestyle Eggo waffle. But you know, these things actually have like two different orientations. I didn't know that until just now. We got the sideways, the right side up. That's kind of crazy, ain't it? Uh, also, something really cool. Uh, makes these Kellogg's, I think, right? Yeah, Kellogg's. This resealable bag. Okay? That's nice. See, for a guy like me right now who's got six boxes of Eggo waffles he needs to eat, uh, having a resealable bag, it's pretty nice because I don't think I'm going to be eating six boxes of Eggo waffles anytime soon. This has been setting out for a little while. They're starting to thaw. It's a little, a little moist. Not quite soggy yet, but they're getting there, so, uh, you know. But now, we wait. So it's about four and a half minutes. I don't actually, the, the dial got moved when I brought it up here, so I don't actually know how long that should be, but hey, we'll see. Okay, this is taking for, okay, future. More than one at a time. I'm totally shit, scared the shit out of me. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> that actually scared me. Okay, um, okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, uh, okay, that also scared me. All right, let's turn that down a little bit. Three and a half. So let's go ahead and pop in a, dude, that actually scared me so much. Like the, like the toaster scared me and the smoke alarm just made it so much worse. Um, oh, look at that. We'll throw in an apple cinnamon next. Okay, yeah, these have gotten very soggy. Okay, hopefully, the smoke detector doesn't go off again. I keep looking at the wrong camera. I apologize. Hopefully the smoke detector doesn't go off again. Here's the first one, the home style. Listen, it's home style, okay? You can't go wrong with it. It's a classic, it's a banger, but you know what? We're still gonna try it. I mean, you know, like I said, it's home style. I don't exactly have like a tier list for this or anything. Oh, but ASMR. I'll try to mentally keep track of what I think belongs where. I'm gonna say, for now, just keep that on like the second to top. So actually, fun fact, I've only ever had like three Eggo waffle flavors in my life that I know of, or can remember anyways, and that is the um, Homestyle, Strawberry, and Buttermilk. So pretty much when I was a kid, the only one I would eat was Strawberry, but uh, after a while, I branched out into Homestyle, and a couple years later, I also branched out into Buttermilk, and it's only been up and up, you know? Strawberry was good, but maybe I got tired of it a little bit. I don't really know. Then Homestyle was great. And then Buttermilk, bro. Oh, Buttermilk. Also, I've had like a bad tummy ache for like two days now recording this. It's gone for right now, but I feel like eating six Eggo waffles might bring it back. Maybe I should, there it is. Maybe I should, how many do I have left here? This is three. I have three more. I think I'll do the last three all at once. All right, this is, I don't remember which one was which. 
I put in, okay, I put in strawberry and buttermilk. It should be easy enough to figure out. This is strawberry. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. This, I put in apple cinnamon, didn't I? Yeah, okay, this is apple cinnamon. Didn't go off. Bet. Knock on wood. Keep looking at the wrong camera. I apologize. Look, I have my recording thing over here. I keep looking at that. I mean to look at you guys, but I'm getting used to this. All right, bear with me. Never had this flavor before. Let's give her a whirl. I like apple soap and cinnamon for its worth. It's not bad. I mean, another bite on that one. It's, it's not very apple-y, nor very cinnamony. It's got a little bit of a cinnamon in it, but I think I'm gonna put home style above it. Maybe just because home style is familiar to me. Maybe I'm being a little biased here. Apple cinnamon, definitely right behind it though, right on its heels. We have the buttermilk crumbly, might be because it might have been a little freezer burnt. That is so free. Oh, that is so freezer burnt. Oh, my goodness. oh that is definitely free. Okay. Um, don't worry. I have another box, but these are like all freezer burnt. So I'm gonna go get that real quick. I found another open box of buttermilk. So let's see if it's freezer burnt. I think it's okay. Let's do a strawberry. All right, and now we wait for three more minutes. Okay, but I'm still going on about this though. Can we just talk about how terrifying that was? Like actually for me being here? Okay, it was, I think I'm playing a horror game, bro. Jump scare, jump scare. Okay, the toaster jump scare, that was kind of funny. Alarm, no, that was not it. That was not it, chief, not cash money. Now I'm seeing, bro, I keep, I keep thinking I see smoke, dude, just messing with me. I've been psychologically traumatized by my toaster. Okay, moment of truth. Back to the buttermilk. Oh yeah, that's hard to beat. That's an A. That's, that's an A, man. That's top, that's top, that's... Even being still slightly freezer burnt. Absolute banger. Next up, we have the strawberry. Like I said, strawberry used to be the only one I'd eat as a kid. But uh, you know, I, I broadened my horizons a little bit. Let's see what strawberry can bring to the table. Can it win me back? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm gonna put that behind apple cinnamon. So as of right now, we have buttermilk in the lead, home style, apple cinnamon, strawberry. It is close though. That it's not too far away from apple cinnamon. Let me go ahead and get the last two contenders being chocolatey chip and bluey berry. No, it's just blueberry, just blueberry. These are actually like basically thaw at this point. I don't, I don't know how well these are gonna refreeze, but oh well. Blueberry, blueberry. Blueberry muffin. You guys remember that? Like from like was it I I, 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 eh, I Carly or something? That one made that was like, you want a blueberry muffin? Is that I Carly? I I Carly? Bro, I can't talk. The chocolatey chip. It begins. Right. Something else that's gonna suck. So after eating all these Eggo waffles, is I gotta go to the gym today. I didn't go yesterday because uh, bad tummy ache. I guess technically it was supposed to be a rest day anyways, but I was thinking about going anyways just because you know I felt like I could. But uh, bad tummy ache said no to that. And now I'm eating a bunch of Eggo waffles. And I'd kind of like to go. It's 12.30 right now. Damn, it's 12.30 already? How long have I been? I've been recording this for 30 minutes. Plus, I'm going later than I want to go. So it's going to be more crowded. Which is also going to suck. But anyways, I guess I can go ahead and uh, eat some Eggo waffles. Chocolatey chip. Why don't you just get chocolatey chip? And everything else is blueberry, strawberry, home style. Why can't it be like homey home style or bluey blueberry? You should put me in charge of marketing. Sales would go up 800%, guarantee. I'm in Econ 201, by the way, in college. So, I mean, I know what I'm talking about. Don't think I'm a fan of that. The chocolate, it kind of tastes like, um, take like your basic home style Eggo waffle and like soak it in chocolate or not chocolate, soak it in hot chocolate. Next up, and finally, is blueberry. For the record, not a big fan of blueberries. They're probably like my, one of my least favorite berries, so. Ah. Mm. You guys like that crunch? I love that crunch, bro. Not bad. I don't think I put it above strawberry, though, but once again, that's my personal preference. I'm not a big fan of blueberries. But if you like blueberries, that, that's, you're not going to go wrong with that. That's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. I am cool with it. Okay, so 
king of the castle, number one, we have the buttermilk. Butter, buttermilk. Oh, this doesn't have the two sides. What? The buttermilk egg waffle. King of the castle, number one. Hands down. Next, on the number two slot, we have the classic home style. Can't go wrong with it. Does anybody not like homestyle waffles? If you do, then you're not a person. Sorry. In the number three position, right smack dab in the middle, I'm gonna have to unfortunately put apple cinnamon. I say unfortunately because it's honestly really good. Banger of a flavor. Maybe if it had a little bit more flavor to it, a little more apple-y, a little more cinnamon -y, -y -y. You know, I might put cinnamon up there, apple cinnamon up there, but it just fell a little short, you know? Just came up short, is what it is. Next up, it's gonna be the strawberry. Boom, pretty solid overall. Maybe a bit biased just because I've had so many strawberry Eggo waffles over the years. It's good, don't get me wrong, it's good, but compared to the other three, I just don't think it's got it. I'm sorry, strawberry, you know, you'll forever be in my heart, you know that, you know I love you. Then, in the fifth position, blueberry. It's good, I just don't like blueberries that much. Maybe this would potentially be a contender for the number three spot, or number four spot, if I was a big fan of blueberries. And then lastly, we have chocolatey chip. Is it bad? Honestly, I might say yeah. Like, um, I would consider none of the previously listed flavors bad, but chocolatey chip... Okay, here, let me, let me defend myself, because I'm most willing to guarantee you there's... If, any, if this video gets watched by anybody, more than like two people, there's probably gonna be some chocolatey chip defenders out there. I don't think chocolatey chip is nasty. I wouldn't say it's good. If you were to give me chocolatey chip Eggos, I'm not gonna be like, ew, I don't want that, take it back. You know, it's an Eggo. And I will say that I honestly feel like the saving grace for this could be like a dessert-ish Eggo, right? Like, I don't know if you guys have ever had Eggo Sundays. I make them not a whole lot, but sometimes where you just get like an Eggo, throw some ice cream on top, a little bit of chocolate, maybe some whipped cream, you know, a nice little cherry on top. I feel like that would, like, these would be good for that. But that's kind of the only saving grace I see for it. So, unfortunately, chocolatey chip, bottom of the teepee, or not teepee, bottom of the pyramid. I think it's teepee, it kind of looks like a pyramid. But, whatever. Bottom of the period. Pi Bottom of the pyramid. Unlucky. Is what it is. That's, that's the list, boys. That's best to worst. Once again. Just because it's at the bottom doesn't mean it's terrible. Admittedly, I don't really like chocolate chip a whole lot. Chocolatey chip a whole lot. I would pick any of a, other of these flavors, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's terrible. Okay? Just if it's your favorite, your taste in Eggos might be terrible. Is what it is, you know? I don't judge. Maybe a little bit, but... And I'll keep it to myself. I'm respectful about it, okay? I'm a respectful judger. If by some... Miraculous reason... Anybody out there is watching this video, and watch to the end, actually, um... First off, can I ask why? Genuine question right here. Why, why would you do this to yourself? Thank you all. So much for watching, if you did. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, a comment. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. Tell me what I could have done better. And tell me uh, your favorite Eggo waffle, I guess. Actually, tell me, are the thick and fluffy ones good? I've never had them before. Might give them a shot, but uh, didn't do it today because I did not want a freezer full of Eggo waffles. With that, I'm out of here. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.